We have uh, Josh Palmer. Uh, we'll start with uh, Austin Price and then go to David Evan. Josh, take me through the, the touchdown there in the, in the second half for you. What was the route? And then just, you know, what, what were you kind of seeing that you made you feel like, hey, this could be something there? Uh, I just had a go route. Uh, I saw the DB was playing about – he was off maybe about eight yards, and I just attacked him instead. And JG, trust me, throw the ball. You know, the all line held up pretty well the entire game, so shouts out to them. But, yeah, it was just a traditional go route. Um, beat the defender and caught it over the shoulder. David? Uh, yeah, Josh, how would you assess what you saw from uh, from Jarrett tonight? Uh, Jarrett, Jarrett's been – what he showed today, he's been doing the entire camp. You know, he's he's getting he's throwing the ball well. You know, the O-line's holding up well. And, you know, we clicked a lot, uh, the receivers and the quarterbacks throughout the entire fall camp. And, you know, we put that on display. Hey, we have to get a lot better, though. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we left on the field, a lot of plays we left on the field. But we're going to fix that next week and come harder next week. All right, we'll go to Blake and then uh, Joe Rexford. Hey Josh, what did you think of uh, Brandon's one-handed catch there uh, in the first quarter? And, and uh, what do you think you're going to be able to get out of him uh, throughout this season production-wise? Yeah, Brandon Johnson's a dog. You know, he registered it last year, and I was really excited to see him come out today. You know, uh, he played my freshman year, and he was a beast. So I was just really happy to see him out there having fun, making plays. You know, Brandon Johnson has been making plays all fall camp. And today he just showed everybody what he could do. So um, Brandon comes out and gives you 100% every day. Uh, every time he's on the field, he goes hard. And we feed off that, you know. And Brandon's a great leader, and, you know, we're both seniors. So we're just, we're just ready for a ride. Joe? Yeah, Josh, I wanted to ask you about another uh, receiver, Bayless Jones. What did you think of his first performance and kind of a, a different dimension he brings to this offense? I feel Billis had a great coming out party today. You know, he was able to show the world what he could do. Um, you know, we have play, we have plays, different personnel, different different uh, plays that we could do and use around to to find our strengths for our certain players. But you know, Billis is a dog, and Billis does everything hard. He does one hundred percent every single day. You know, runs great routes, has great hands. So, I mean, I'm just excited to see what Billis does throughout the year. All right, next we'll go to Patrick Brown and then Rob Lewis. Josh, you guys have, uh, I think, won seven in a row now. There's been a handful of close games during that streak going back to last year. What does it say kind of about this program that you guys just seem to find a way to win? Game goes down in the fourth quarter. You guys find a way to, to get out of it and, and get a win. Yeah, we're relentless. Um, you know, Coach did say that there was going to be a lot of adversity in this game. And, you know, ball camp was different this year for the, every all the teams around the country. So we expected things – we expected the ball to not bounce our way. But, you know, we just stick to the plan. Stick to the plan and everything will fall in place. Kind of pit, kind of piggybacking on that, Josh. What do you, what can you say about the mental strength of this team? I mean, you get off got off to a horrible start with you know, their opening drive and then the, the bad snap on the punt. You guys respond in the second half. They tie it up. You guys respond. How you know? What do you say about the mental strength of, of this group? I say you need to have mental strength to play in the SEC. You know, um, a lot of stuff is not going to go your way in this league, and it's better to have a strong mental strength and physical strength. Obviously, the physical aspect is important, but if you can't sustain the entire game and go with the flaws, then it's going to be hard to survive in this league. So we work on our mental strength every day. Coach pushes us every day, so we're ready for anything that comes our way. All right, we'll finish this one up with Matthew Ray. Hey, Josh, you know, talked about the mental strength and once you've overcome this fall. How did it feel to just be back out there playing football today, and what was the emotion like for you going into this game? Yeah, it was fun. I had butterflies in my stomach. Um, but, you know, I love coming down and playing with my brothers every day. Um, we give 100% every single time we're on the field. And, you know, when we came back in the summer and started the workouts, we were just we were just really excited. And it was funny. The other day, I was sitting with the receivers. No, actually, today, this morning, we're sitting with receivers. And they're like, in a few hours, we're going to be playing our first game. And, you know, a lot of people never thought that would happen. But um, it was just I was really happy to be out there today. All right, thanks, Josh. We'll finish up today with uh, Jared Garantano here in just a second.